Hi, my name's Brittany, and um, my mom is a survivor of breast cancer for about two years now. Hi, my name is Evan White. I am a uh, co-survivor. Uh, my mother was diagnosed with breast cancer and is a survivor of 21 years. Hi, my name is Cindy White. I was diagnosed with breast cancer probably about 21 years ago. I had gone in for my very first mammogram because my doctor kept hounding me, go get your mammogram, go get your mammogram. I was 40 years old. I said, okay. So I went and got my mammogram. And the very first one, uh, they found something. I wasn't too worried about it because I thought, oh, it's probably nothing. But um, the next day they called me back and said, please come back. We want to do another one or do a, you know, go into more detail, which I did. And I was diagnosed. They said, we think you have breast cancer. Next thing I know, I am uh, have my uh, doctors calling me and saying we need to do surgery. Um, I had a lumpectomy. Um, it was very scary at the time. I had uh, children, of course. I've married and had two children. My youngest son, Evan, was in kindergarten. He was five, between five and six years old at the time. And I had a, our older son was in high school. And I thought to myself, well, if this is going to take me, it's going to take me kicking and screaming because there's no way that I'm going to be away from my children. I had two kids to raise, and I said, you know, I'm just going to fight, scream, and kick, and it's just not going to take me out. But it's been 21 years, and I'm cancer-free. Everything's good. So you can come through it. I've been through it. But it brought our family closer together. Everybody had to pitch in because my energy level went downhill. Once I had my chemo, I would be good till about 12 o'clock in the afternoon, and that was it. I just had to just pretty much stay on the couch. and. But my family kicked in and everybody helped out and it brought us closer and here I am now. It was very hard to tell our children because, first of all, my husband, I, I called him from the doctor's office and said, um, I don't know what's going on, but I'm, they're telling me that I might have breast cancer. And, of course, my husband, we're very close. Um, he you know, came right there and we, and we went through everything together. Um, telling our children was very tough because, I mean, what do you tell a five or six-year-old? Or even my older son in, in high school was just as hard because... He kept it in. He, you know, just tried to not say too much about it and kept it to himself a lot. So we were a little concerned with him. And Evan, he took it okay. I don't think he really understood. He had more of a problem with it a year later when he was in first grade. Um, he went through a period of time where he didn't want to go to school. He was cr he cried. He would be afraid that something had would happen to me. And so we had a. I had to talk to the school counselor to talk to him because he was having such a hard time with it. You know, it's really hard when you're young and you don't understand everything. It's it's really important that you do have uh, an outlet and have uh, other people to talk to you about things that are going on. It was hard for me. I remember sitting on the couch. Uh, I just got back from a college class that I was taking, and uh, I got the call, and she called me, and I was like, I was like almost in shock. I didn't know what was going on. Sorry. I'm going to hit me more. I think that's I was older because I knew what was going on. So sorry, I can't talk. But I know we're we're big Christians, so we prayed a lot, and um, I didn't like get the negativity in my mind. I knew that she would get through it, and she did. And she's a two-year breast cancer survivor. So we wanted to um, create a sandal uh, that would. Uh, give back and create awareness um, to breast cancer. Um, obviously it affected both of our lives and our mother's lives, mm -hmm. all of our lives. It's a family business. And uh, so it's something that we really feel passionate about. So that's why we've created um, a line of sandals uh, named after our mothers and uh, other survivors um, that we know that can uh, contribute to the Susan G. Komen uh, Society and Foundation and also create awareness to people because when you're walking around and you see that ribbon, you know what that means and what that's all about. And it can create awareness and the donations can affect lives and change lives just like they've done for us. I, I love the sandal because it, it just shows just the strongness in um, women that have survived this, you know, deadly disease. And it just shows that they, they did it. They, defeated it and even if they are going through it they wear the sandal symbolizing that I'm gonna survive I'm strong and it just it shows that strength this the sandal is very strong and it's all leather so it has that like I don't know that strength to strength it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so and we all come together and we all Designed did it with it, yeah. my yes. mom we we that's how we came up with the name Cindy Lee and the Mary Lynn and 
So it just has the family aspect, but we're also thinking about the other women that have dealt with this. It's, it's wonderful to see how strong they are, and we've all come through this. And, um, yeah, we love the sandals, and we love when people come in and they tell us. They're all, every day almost we have somebody come in and tell us their story, and I say, oh, I'm a breast cancer survivor. And, and they say, oh, yeah, I love wearing my sandals so everybody can see, and I, I want to give them to my mom. Or even so, we have women that know women that are actually going through treatment right now, and they say, oh, I want to get this for a gift just to lift them up. And it really does. It really helps lift everybody up. And um, one thing I can say is the po to keep a positive attitude. Your attitude will just help tremendously. I always said I don't want any kind of negativity in my life when I was going through my treatments. Just keep it positive. If you ha don't have anything positive to say, don't say anything because I just want all positive yeah. and prayers. And uh, we came through it. So we're very proud of our business and our, our my son and my daughter-in-law. And our, we're just so proud. You can go to our website, uh, palmbeachsandals.com. That's plural, palmbeachsandals.com. And uh, we'll have all the sandals on there. And uh, we're also working with Susan G. Komen. You can uh, check out the South Florida Susan G. Komen uh, website, and they will direct you to our website to, uh, to donate and to purchase a pair of sandals. And what I would have to say is it definitely creates a conversation. Um, every time you see a pair of sandals and you, you just see that logo or that ribbon, you, uh, it creates a conversation.